I'm ducking and everything. Dying just in the house. I'm. I got scared. I dropped my hot pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Here's like an actual customer out here. Uh, what's uh, what's the best kind of firework to buy? Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? <laughs> Coming in at number 10. I said, oh, girl, it's cold outside. She said, something ain't right. I said, oh, man. She said, oh, man, the building is on fire. I said, no, what? I got my three kids and we bounced out. Oh, we ain't going to be in no fire. Not today. <laughs> Not today. I love her. Not today. I like, the building is on fire. Like, I really appreciate her commitment to how well she role played that. Well done. Yeah, this is not a fail. This is a win, my friend. Cruising into number nine, we have... Coming up here was extremely bad, but going, going down the roads is much better. Hey, y'all better pay! I don't care if it's still out there! Y'all better pay! Hey, y'all better pay down! What I say? <laughs> Yo, that's like TTC. You cannot just not pay on the bus. No, yo. you can't. And actually, no, some bus drivers are really nice. If you don't have enough change, you'll be like, yeah, yeah, just pay it in the subway. And I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, they do. Not this guy. Not, not this guy. guy. He's like, you better pay. <laughs> I don't care. You better. Like, he's just, he doesn't even care. Like, you're literally not phased that you're on my television right now. Rolling into number eight, we have got. She wants to hurt me. And the bitch don't even know me. I hope that they beat her ass. Some of the women in prison beat her ass every day. Yo! <laughs> Savage! Wait. Okay, so so she got mugged? What happened to her in the wheelchair? They probably like took her purse or something is what it looked like. Yeah. They took something and ran. <laughs> Yo, she ain't messing around. That hurt me. She don't even know me. I hope they beat her ass in prison. <laughs> Sliding into number seven, we have... So you had that shot to win it, and then you kind of recreated it for the crowd afterwards. When that shot didn't go in, did you think, I might have blown it here? Ah, uh, I have a bear. I have an apple. <laughs> oh, eat apple bear. <laughs> what? Bro. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. Bro, like, listen here. You got to be careful with the hand movements you're making. I think yeah, I don't know what like this means. Apple and pear. I don't know what that means. The thing went in the hole. Like, I think that's part of the sport. I don't know. But, bro, you can't be like Apple with What hair. sport is this? I don't know. And I, I really I really thought he was going to answer why, how, <laughs> what happened. But no. Instead, he gave a demonstration. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I've seen way too much. <laughs> Coming in now at number six, you guys, we have got... First and last name, please. Uh, Erica O'Donnell. And can you spell first and last? F-I-R-S-T-L-A-S-T. <laughs> I met your first and last name. Uh, <laughs> what was he? What, what was she spelling out? <laughs> he meant like, what's your name? Spell your first and last. Is in first and last name, but she spelled out the words first. Oh and my last. god! Oh my god! <laughs> what an idiot, Erica! Oh. Get it together! <laughs> That, that's something I would do. This is literally, I just know that this is something I would do. And she's like, F I R, like, why are you making me spell first? Yeah, last? I oh. know how to spell. Honey, oh, Erica O'Donnell. All right, guys, we made it halfway. Number five, we have. I don't watch the news because I'm a kid, and apparently, every time, apparently, Grandpa just gives me the remote after we watch the Powerball. <laughs> I love him. Apparently, apparently <laughs> Grandpa always gives me the remote. <laughs> I don't watch the news because every time I do, we gotta watch the power. <laughs> Why is he like a 30 year old stuck in a baby's body? <laughs> I don't know, but I love him. Like, I love him. Oh, oh, God. Okay, you guys, rolling into number four, we've got... Oh, bro, it's just like, dude, you get the best barrels ever, dude. Just like, you pull in and you just get spit right out of them. You just drop in and just smack the lip, whoop, drop down, snap, <laughs> and then after that, you just drop in, you just ride the barrel and get pitted, so pitted like that. What is this? Yo, whatever he is on, I want some, yo. He's I want some of it. What lingo was he using? And then you spin to the barrel and then whoop, whoop, and even then know. you pit it, right you out. Yeah, and then the barrel just shoots you out there, dude. <laughs> like literally, I like you did not answer any question. Like I don't know, there was I, no answer. I don't answer. even know what you were saying. <laughs> All right, guys, at number three we have. 
question is how do democracies respond to those scandals? Uh, and what will it mean for uh, for the wider region? I think one of your children has just walked in. I mean, shift it, shifting shifting sands in the region. Do you think relations with the north may change? Um, I would be surprised if they do. Uh, um, pardon me. She was so happy. She's like, do 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 daddy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that killed me, that one. And then, and then oh, sorry, sorry. And then the baby just rolls. Yeah. In. Like, the baby can't even walk. Yeah. How did it get in there? Coming in now, at number two, we have got... I'm loving it. Where are you from? Pennsylvania, recently. So finally brought a little snow. Yeah. This is awesome. I never got to see it when I was locked up earlier this year. <laughs> <laughs> Talk yeah. about oversharing. There's TMI and then there's this. <laughs> like you literally exposed yourself. No one needed to know that you were in prison. Like you could have no. gotten away with that. And I love how he was like using a where are you from? He's like Pennsylvania recently. Where are you from normally then? <laughs> the <Prison. hell? laughs> I'm usually in jail, so yeah. <laughs> makes me happy that he likes the snow. Come to Canada, man. Alright guys, we have finally made it to number one and we have I didn't make anybody stay here until 7 a.m. or 11 or whatever it is everybody finally left. I didn't make this kid pass out on my floor. People wanted to be here. <laughs> oh my god! I love what they're going through with the show. Does anyone want to wake him up beforehand? Are we not waking him up? Surely you could have done this video somewhere else and like called like an EMS for the guy unconscious on the floor. Like they're literally oh standing god. next to him. At least check his pulse. Do they check that his vitals? Do they check anything? Oh god! Oh, that's so like I didn't even know that was legal to show like an unconscious body on the floor. That's so funny. The guy's like, I didn't make him pass out over there. He wanted it. <laughs> they wanted to be here. Yeah, but I'm sure he didn't want to be unconscious. But he's a uh, rave organizer, as you can see. Yeah. There. Oh my god. Thank you very much for 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 this for giving me this, and I appreciate my fans also. My wife and my girlfriend. Yeah, oh. I mean my wife. Yeah, sorry to say. I'm so I'm so sorry, my wife. Oh, oh my god, this man just got exposed on live television. Oh. Back here live at the Waterfront Village with my friend the zombie Jonathan. So You're looking good. Jonathan just got an awesome face paint job. What do you think? I like turtles. <laughs> Alright, you're a great zombie. Okay. So how are you coping with all the fame? <gasps> <laughs> Let's get into it. At number 10, we have... I'm going to have to jump into the water, actually. I've got to be very careful because I've got this sound pack on. But Sarah Vasey, Adam Peaty, Sean Marie O'Connor, Ben Proud and James Guy. Congratulations. <gasps> <gasps> Sorry about that. Did he have to get in? That like, was... why did he have to go in? <laughs> that was so unnecessary. And you literally just said I have a sound pack on. Like, let me take this electrical sound pack and get in the pool. <laughs> I love how he said sorry after he's on the phone. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Bro, like, you need to apologize to your boss. <laughs> you need to apologize to yourself, yeah. first and foremost. Okay, you guys, rolling into our number nine slot, we have got... ...had to alter their plans, and we spoke to one kid who was trying to cope with the delay. I'm just sitting there on my iPod. It's just so frustrating. I want to be in Florida getting a tan on my back. <laughs> <laughs> he, he sounds like a 40-year-old man when he said that. He, he really does, and I, I love how he's so specific. A tan on my back. I'm so sorry your iPod's not enough for you. <laughs> I've never heard a kid complain about having to sit on an iPod before. Literally. Just get that like, guy to Florida, man. Yeah. <laughs> he needs it. <laughs> ASAP. Okay, guys, coming in at number seven now, we have got... Do you know how this fire started? Yes, I do. It was because of my cousin. And I don't want to mention no names. Your cousin? Yes. Do you know how or why? He's mad because he couldn't, he can't get with me. I'm married to my husband, and it's a long story. Just make it short. Yeah. What is long this? story? <laughs> Listen, I want to hear the long story because why is your cousin trying to get with you? You're like, what is this family? And I love how she's like, I don't want to name any names, but my cousin <laughs> did this. And like, oh, that is so uncomfortable. And why like, is her why is her husband like 18 years old behind her? 
<laughs> she got an 18 year old husband. Uh, yeah. She's got a cousin that's trying to get with her. He started a fire because he couldn't. It, this is like a movie right here. She, she's in demand. As a news reporter, I wouldn't even know what to do. I'd be like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I would say, I think I've heard enough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> goodbye. Cruising into number six, and we got Constance Landry. She says she's lived here her entire life, almost 80 years, been through just about everything. I'm 80 years old. Just about. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Constance. Are you coming back to New Orleans and New Orleans East? It's an elephant heaven. <laughs> I'm coming back, baby. <laughs> oh my God. I love her. She's so, she's so sassy, but let's face it, she does look. She is old, okay? Oh, she is old. Her face, no, she's just like, it, like, excuse, like, as if you literally just called her, like, yeah. death. Like, honey, I don't think 80 was a bad guess. Like, I'm not trying to be rude. I think it's a compliment, if anything. She's, like, pushing 90. <laughs> is I, an elephant heavy? Is water wet? <laughs> Oh, uh, she couldn't have just said like, yeah, I will be returning. Like yeah. she just had to say like, is an elephant heavy? <laughs> All right, lady, we get it. Oh uh, God. Halfway through now, at number five, we've got. Okay, come a little closer. Do I'm gonna stay over here by Joni. Do they know each? Do they no. Hold them tight. Hold them tight. Hold them. I am. I am. Hold them tight. I am. I am. I am. Okay. All right. On right, Joni, you got it. <laughs> He tried so hard. Oh I am. <laughs> he was trying with everything in his power. Like, I am. Like, honestly, I would have let go after the first two seconds of that thing squirming. I would have dropped it. Wait. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even have, like, held it. I don't even know what it is, and I don't want to hold it. <laughs> oh, no? he was trying. I love how he was like, I yeah. am. I, I, I am. I am. <laughs> oh, he was trying so hard. <laughs> Not hot enough. We've made it to number four, and we have maybe just the possibility. Of <gasps> Whoa! Oh. Hey, cat. <laughs> oh! Oh my God! I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move you. <laughs> Yo, he was so calm. I would have freaked the f out. Why? It's so cute when they do that. They're like your little parrot on your shoulder. Eamon, that's like a spider monkey, like climbing a tree. He probably had to dig his claws into your chest. No, no, it's just in your clothes. My cat did that too when she was little and I'm like cooking something. She's gonna do that to you when you come over. But she will not. I will throw her. <laughs> <laughs> now you guys, we're into our top three. At number three, we have got... I said, what are you doing running? And you're saying it was really good out? It's the perfect texture for running. Very low impact and it's dry snow so your feet don't get wet. We've seen a lot of people out here, like you said, running, sledding, just enjoying it. <gasps> One thing, <gasps> oops. Oh, that can happen. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that can happen. <laughs> that is what you get, girl. First of all, the snow is dry so your feet don't get wet. Snow can't be dry. Literally. I think she deserved that. She was so cocky. She's like, it's the perfect weather. Do, yeah. do, do. And I was like, you need to fall. I'm sorry. Yeah. She's like, it's the perfect texture for running. Yeah. Let me show you a demonstration. Yeah. <laughs> Falls on. <laughs> Goodbye. Too confident, honey. You were way too confident in that. <laughs> Taking over the number two spot is. We'll probably sit around and cook some soups and <laughs> eat bread and desserts and just get all fat and sassy. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's literally me in quarantine, just getting fat and sassy. I love it. She's like, we're gonna cook soup. <laughs> yeah. Soup and bread. Yeah, I no honestly, fat. like, you could have. I don't know if soup is gonna make you fat, girlfriend. I mean, I don't even know, but I mean, I appreciate her her attitude. You know. I love that. That sounds a good, a good weekend, honey. I even love how she said it. She's like, fat and yeah, sassy. sassy. That's hashtag fat and sassy. And finally, you guys, taking the biggest fail at number one, we have got... Dude, aren't you cold? No, man, I'm from Wisconsin. From Wisconsin, everybody. <laughs> well, there you go. What? Okay. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're not answering my question, man. I asked if you were cold. Like, everyone else is literally in, like, full out, like, gear for the winter. I don't know. Maybe they make them differently in Wisconsin. I don't know. His chest hair looks pretty warm, though. I know, but he has also that huge snail tail that's going, like, all the way down. I don't know how much insulation that's providing. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's just really drunk. <laughs> Today, Flossie's family is going to be coming out here to throw you a big birthday party. Are you excited for your party? Not one bit. <laughs> <laughs> Flossie Dickie. Honestly, at 110, I wouldn't be excited either. Like, come on now. <laughs> 
Not one bit. Not one bit. I've had a hundred and ten of these. <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> Yo, she looks good though, guys say. And guys say. <laughs> Your dad might not think about all of this because I'm sure that he's an athlete. Is he an athlete, your dad? Yeah, my dad was an athlete, but now he's um pretty fat. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, I'll be damned if my daughter goes on national television and calls me fat. <laughs> Wait, was the picture off towards her dad? Because he was, was fat. Yeah, her dad he was, was a surfer. Fat. His her dad's in good shape. Right? Yeah, I don't know about you, girl, but if he's fat, I'm fat. Yeah, I'll I tell swear you that. to God. <laughs> That's a nice dad <laughs> you got there. <laughs> I'm just saying. At number 10, we have... Joining me right now is Jennifer Lopez. She is the what? executive... Or not Jennifer, I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Lindsay <laughs> Lopez. <laughs> like, I thought we kept going. Does she look like Jennifer Lopez to you? <laughs> I thought, like, her name might just be Jennifer Lopez. Yes. <laughs> Yo, are you a fan or something? Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> That's like me being like, and I'm your host, Miley Cyrus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, too good. Okay, you guys, failing our way into number nine, we have got... Morning, Mr. Ben Schwartz. Hey, I gotta tell you right off the bat, the most exciting part of this is it's like, the way that I hear you in my ear is as if you are underneath three pillows and a big machine that's whirring real loud. So if I don't hear what you're saying, I'm just gonna make up your question and then answer it. What? <laughs> that's a great way to deal with a technical difficulty, though. <laughs> I'm just gonna make it up. I'm just gonna, you wanna know, you wanna know what my middle name is? Sure, let me tell you. <laughs> it's like, how is your business doing? I have three kids, yes. <laughs> yes, it was a great, like, what the, I don't even know. Do you still get paid for that? You, you are, you're on air. I guess. It's not my fault that my, I'm not forking out the money for that interview. Yeah. Sliding into number eight, we got. Love the big, it's Sandlot night tonight. Okay. You know the line from the Sandlot, right? You're. Yeah. Kill. You got me, big. You're killing me, Biggs. Small! Oh, oh. Big. Give me the give, 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 give me the gum back. You're killing me, Biggs. Biggs. <laughs> what is it actually? You're killing me, Smalls. What is this from? Sandlot. What is that? Oh, Amen. <laughs> I thought you said something something about lions. I thought you said Lion King. The line. Oh, the line. Oh. Amen. This is an interview fail, right? I don't here. understand these American accents. Yeah, no, it's a line from a really like iconic movie. Oh, okay, you're okay. killing me, Smalls. <laughs> and he said, "You're killing me, Biggs." Oh, it was funny for me. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Coming in at number seven, we have got. Now, yesterday morning, I came out into the front yard, and the dogs were across the road. And as soon as they saw me, they came bounding over. <laughs> <laughs> And I just made it into the front door. In I feel like he's, he's practicing that. He's really good at that. <laughs> Do you see the vein popping out of his neck? I was like, mate. <laughs> so, no one asked for an impersonation of the dog. We simply asked what happened. Like, <laughs> no, but now I felt like I was really there. <laughs> the crowd with the uh, sound. I mean, it was really good. Like, I think he should audition for us. That was very I good. think he'd get it. Yeah, we'd lose our jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to number six, we got... What's on your mind? Um, I was wondering... I didn't really see you on TV that much. But Lester Holt? Lester Holt? What? Was, was Lester Holt a part of this morning's coverage? <laughs> Did, was... uh, I usually he see him more on the news than you. <gasps> <laughs> Oh! He, he's like, you're not popular enough to We got some me. sass. Well, I see him on the TV more than yeah, I see you. Yeah, you. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> no tea, no shade. <laughs> From a preschooler. <laughs> and he was so sweet. He said, I was just wondering <laughs> if you're you, relevant or not. <laughs> That's a no. Yeah. If you're not relevant enough for this toddler. Halfway through now, you guys, at number five, we've got. About three, four weeks ago, it was what? Three degrees outside. It's a heat wave out here now. <laughs> Hello, it's winter. Yes, I'm not surprised. I love it. It's winter. Let's let's work with it. I love her. I love her energy. Oh my god, it was. You're, I was that excited. Just for embrace life. it. Just embrace it. It was what? Three degrees. <laughs> <laughs> She's like talking to like as if there's like people all around. The her. audience. Yeah, <laughs> I love claps. her. <laughs> she honestly, that's not a fail in my books. This is win. All right, guys, at number four, we got. 
Our camera was rolling as we chased down the woman accused of stealing an SUV from the Ace Renner car Thursday <gasps> afternoon. So did you steal the car? Oh, I don't know what you're speaking about, ma'am. Well, we have you on video wearing that same oh. outfit. Oh, really? That's nice. Why did you take the car? I don't know. You don't know? Demons told me to do it. Who told you to do it? The demons. Demons told you to steal the car. I feel like this would be me if I robbed something. Like, you got that on camera? Nice. Wow, how nice. do I look? Do I, I look? Did look? you get my good angle? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Like, give them nothing. Yeah. Like, literally just like, <laughs> nothing. Oh, I never heard that. Like, just I anything. actually can't hear you. <laughs> yeah, that would be, I, yeah. I like this tactic. I like her. I like her. You can't arrest me. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> I wasn't even there. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Same <laughs> outfit. Into the top three now, you guys. At number three, we have got... Justin, what's up, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, Justin, keep your hand on the ball and off my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, can you relay that message? Mike said, keep your hand on the ball and not on his daughter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got you. Wait. I need to know the story. I he's, need to know the story behind that. He's is he getting with his daughter. Is he an ex? Is he a current? No, is I think he... they're dating. Because oh. he's saying keep them off my daughter. As in keep those paws up, boy. And he's like, I got you one already. We already know what's happened. Yeah, as in he got your daughter. Yeah. And she got his balls. In places. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to go that far. You already said it. It was implied. I may as well finish the thought. Facts. <laughs> Taking over the number two spot is... That's what the problem was. Because I heard him first. I said, hold on. I said, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Because then I start to taste them. I say... <laughs> and then I start to smell them. So it's like a smell that tastes like... I was, like <laughs> was he tasting the air around these thieves? Did it, did it taste like that? What is happening? <laughs> what are you tasting? Is that what you... Yeah, that's our tasting. <laughs> no, no, like his smelling. He did like a sniff and he's like, <laughs> hold on, Go on. wait a minute. <laughs> I love storytellers. That guy and the other girl need to get their own TV show. I swear to God, I was there for it. I'd 100%. watch it. And finally, coming into our number one spot, we have got. Well, I woke up to go get me a cold pop. And then I thought somebody was barbecuing. I said, oh Lord Jesus, it's a fire. <laughs> Then I ran out, I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. And then the smoke got me, I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> I love this woman. I feel like she was one of the first memes ever. You know they remix this into a song? What? It's like, ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm not gonna continue, but. Oh, I was really hoping you would. I was getting into it. <laughs> I was waiting, waiting for the bridge. <laughs> I love that. I love it. She's like, I thought someone was barbecued. It was a fire. I got bronchitis. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for bronchitis. <laughs> tell you that. Not this lady. Oh, God. Tell me about the whistles. The whistles go woo. When you want to woo woo, we it's that woo woo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then you got the flows. They didn't trip off the flow, man. That's that decoration, man. It's just yeah. for decoration. That's, that's it. it. And that's all, man. We do it for decoration. You have it on your car? What? Yeah, I got it on my car. It was being installed on their car. Some what? neighbors were saying way too loud. That's only in the morning. Yeah. He supposed to be up cooking breakfast or somebody. And so that's like an alarm clock. Woo woo! Wait, he installed this whistle on his car for it to do the woo woo that he's talking about? Is that what I'm hearing correctly? I'm confused. Woo woo. Yo, I would I would have that as a horn. How sick would that be? What did you think about the ride? It was great. And apparently, I've never been on live television before, but apparently sometimes I don't watch the sh I don't watch the news. <laughs> Because I'm a kid, and apparently every time, apparently Grandpa just gives me a remote after we watch the Powerball. <laughs> it's the Powerball. Tell me about the ride. What did you think about the ride? Well, it was great. Why? Because apparently you're spinning around, and apparently every time you get dizzy, yeah. the all you do is get dizzy. Is it fun? Yeah. <laughs> I love this kid. I love this kid. I am so happy he ended up on the Ellen Jenner show, you guys. He is hysterical. He needs his own talk show, for real. Apparently, I didn't know the word apparently until I was like 50, so. What did he say? 
He was like, now nah, all I heard was saying, help me, help me. I got to pee. Oh, that's what he said? <laughs> I got to pee. Oh. I'm going to pee on myself. Do you know where he was shot no, at on his body? <laughs> um, I think in the arm and in, in the side right there. So he was shot on the arm? Yo, she got to arm in his leg? Or arm in his stomach? I just peed on myself. Oh, it's OK. Don't worry about it. What? What do you mean, don't worry about it? I'm on live TV and I just peed myself during a live interview. This was so uncomfortable to watch because you're talking about literally someone who was just shot and this poor girl just has to pee. Let her pee and <laughs> do the interview. All right, we've been waiting for a bus to come for these Walmart workers. Now, wait a second. Now, no, no, wait. How, how's driving a SEPTA bus in this weather today? Coming up here was extremely bad, yeah. but going, going down the roads is much better. Hey, y'all better pay! I don't care if it's snow out there! Y'all better pay! And y'all don't pay down! Bro! Relax! <laughs> like, the bus isn't moving before they pay. Like, you're in control, man. You don't have to go anywhere until they pay. Just finish the interview first. Um, first and last name, please. Uh, Erica O'Donnell. And can you spell first and last? F I R S T L A S T. No! <laughs> no. I meant your first and last name. Oh! <laughs> no! Oh, this hurts. This, is, this physically Ooh. pains me. Although, I swear to God, I would do that in a heartbeat. I just know, I know that I'm this dumb and I would totally do that. <laughs> I would beg them, can you please edit that out before you put that up there? I got food, I got my fried chicken, <laughs> Miller beer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Always Miller beer. I hope my pastor didn't hear that. <laughs> Sorry, Reverend Chad. Oh, yes, this guy is the whole vibe, guys. He's a vibe of 2020 quarantine. Like, hurricane, all I need is some fried chicken and some beer. And I want to be on God's good side, so I hope my pastor didn't hear that. Teach me the camel toe again. Um, what? You, no, I'm sorry? Uh, <laughs> I, I think you've mastered that on your oh. own, but I could teach you the camel crotch again. Uh, Not after I lost like, weight. That doesn't yeah. happen anymore. <laughs> What's happening? Why are we talking about camel toes <laughs> and camel crotch? This is so weird. Is this a term? Does this term mean something else that I don't know? Because I only know it to mean one thing. And why are we talking about it? Bruh. Bro. Did you break into a house? Did you burglar at the house? Hell no. Bro, get away from the cop, bro. I don't want to talk. <laughs> I don't want to talk. We, we were talking before you were just talking to these officers. Yeah. Well, I don't want to talk to you, though. Did you break into a house? <laughs> no. Okay, well, why are you in custody then? I don't know. You don't know? You're, you have no idea why you've been arrested? No idea, sir. Why you got hair coming out your nose? <laughs> got him! <laughs> He was fine talking until he asked, like, why you did it. And I feel like you might be a little sus, as the kids say these days. But who am I to point fingers? If you win that jackpot, what's the first thing you're going to get? <laughs> first thing I'm going to get? <laughs> oh. You can be honest with us. Come on, oh, I, I can be honest because we're in Nevada. It's legal. I'm going to have uh, find me a new wife. Okay. <gasps> A new wife? Honey. Wife? Oh dang, what's wrong with your other wife? <laughs> or your current wife? Uh, 1.6 billion. Okay. I mean, you could have more than one wife, sir, if you wanted to. I'm sure you could have a handful of wives with 1.6 billion. We're told that car belongs to a Marshall student. You can imagine how upset she had to be when she came uh, outside yeah. and saw her car looking like this. Here's a little of what that witness had to say. It sounded like a beer can getting flattened. It just was crunch. It was, <laughs> I hate to say it, it was kind of cool. You know, I mean, what guy, what, you know, doesn't like, you know, destruction. Yeah, you know, that's why we go to demolition derbies, but hey. You know, bottom line, that's that poor girl's new Aww. car, and she can't get to school now. Chalk it up to a Monday. <laughs> I mean, I love the way he described this. I guess it would be cool when it's not happening to you, because, yeah. The one it's happening to, this absolutely sucks. My car becoming a crushed pop can, that is devastating. They have to get you a new car, though. I would assume. So how are you coping with all the fame? <gasps> <laughs> I wonder who's this famous dog? 
Um, first of all, I want to know why this dog is famous. Why are we interviewing a dog with a microphone as if it's going to talk to us? Does this dog talk? Or is it a singing dog? Oh so how are you coping with all the fame? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you could even hear the whoop, like the clink of his mouth going around. Maybe just the possibility. Of <gasps> Whoa! Hey, Whose cat. cat is that? No thanks. Oh, no thanks. God. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move you. <laughs> this is why I don't trust cats, y'all. I do not trust cats. They climb you like a freaking tree. Even when you don't want it, they just do it. I don't trust them. Was this a stray cat? I would have. He was very calm. Very calm. He just let it happen. I'm sorry, but I would not have been that graceful with that cat. Our camera was rolling as we chased down the woman accused of stealing an SUV from the Ace Renner car Thursday afternoon. Employees say they found her with the stolen car at the Travel Lodge off Airport Road. Did you steal the car? Oh, I don't know what you're speaking about, ma'am. Well, we have you on video wearing that same outfit. Oh, really? That's nice. Why did you take the car? I don't know. You don't know? Demons told me to do it. Who told you to do it? The demons. Demons told you to steal the car. Why did they tell you to do that? I don't know. I really don't know. So you admit you took it? No, I didn't take it. The demon took it. The demon took it. Huh? I feel like she's mocking the whole thing. Oh, really? That's nice. Demons told me to do it. No, I didn't take it. The demon took it. Or she's genuinely thought a demon told her to take it. But it was just, it felt so like, she was just being so sassy about it. Why did they tell you to do that? I don't know. I really don't know. I can't feel her vibe. I don't like it. But Sarah Vasey, Adam Peaty, Sean Marie O'Connor, Ben Proud, Bro, and James Guy. Cool. Congratulations. Oh, oh. Oh, I didn't see the step. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> well, that's giving you all a good luck. <laughs> Adam's inconsolable there. What are you doing? What are you doing? What was your plan? Congratulations. You were trying to go to the other side to interview them. Wouldn't you get out of the pool and walk around? You're holding a mic and you have a mic pack in your pocket, dude. Rookie. Rookie mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the hot pockets, man. Priorities. Three. Pressing plane. Two. Three. Two. <laughs> okay, uh, you go ahead. Okay. Okay, you, you already know what I'm gonna say. Okay. What is happening, you guys? That was weird. What is happening, you guys? Hope you're having it. No, that's my other intro. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh All right, pressing plane. Three, two, one. Oh, mine didn't play. <laughs> is that legal to show this unconscious body on live television? Wait, what unconscious body? Bro! Watch it again. There's a, a body on the floor. Okay, ready? We're gonna what? watch it again. Okay, ready? Where? <laughs> Even, are you watching the right video? Number two! Oh! I was on the wrong one. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I was like, I'm not seeing any unconscious body. <laughs> okay, sorry. I ruined the next one for you, but. Oh, I started playing it without doing the countdown. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Just press left me hanging there. <laughs> and I, I'm not focused. Focus on me. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Focus on me. Focus on me. <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna have a wife or a girlfriend no. after this, to be honest. <laughs> you get a nice guy on first date. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god, oh little baby. So cute. I'm having baby fever. Okay, don't. Someone stop me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, is it me? Yeah. Okay. Is it me? <laughs> is it me? I don't know. Is it me? <laughs> <laughs> but she hasn't seen life at your height, Gus. Okay, well, tall. <laughs> I will gladly lift her to my shoulder. But she ain't climbing like a squirrel on a tree, I'll tell you that much. She needs that cardio, though. <laughs> Ew, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yuck, let's move on. <laughs> I'm thinking and about his chest hair. I, I like chest hair. I mean, fine. Not yeah. his, not his, not his, <laughs> but I like it Fair in general. Enough, but I don't know if I want chest hair to a point where it's keeping you warm in the winter. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need a carpet, you know? <laughs> I gotta fix my skirt. 
Yeah, I got wedgie. It's sliding up. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, we have to do the intro. Is this Ted? Do they know there's glass here? Well, they do now. Hello. It's probably like, what is this thing in the middle? Yeah. <laughs> what are we at? A okay, castle. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what are we at? <laughs> Pause the camera. I gotta pee. What's, what's happening? Walk away and pee. I feel like there's a term that we, we just don't know. Like they're in a sports shop, like this is a professional interview. Why are we talking about camel toes? I heard crotch and camel toe, and he said, You already got that covered. I feel awkward. I feel like I shouldn't be here. Getting ready for 2021. I'm gonna be a brand new bed.